All right, so today what we are gonna do is we are gonna test out the heart and flashlight kit. That costs $88. Now, when it comes to the price, I'm gonna say if Ryobi also uh, sold their uh, tire inflator with the batteries, it would be about the same price. So the $88 for, for this kit comes with a charger and a battery. And it comes with a flashlight, so the price is actually justified because of the battery. Now, I'm pretty sure that if it didn't come with a battery, it would be about the same price as the Ryobi tire inflator. And so we're, we are going to unbox this and see how this actually performs with inflating a tire. Now, the model number for this kit is HPA K01B. And it comes with uh, the tire inflator that has a digital display and a flashlight, a 1.5 amp hour battery, and a charger. Now, as you guys know, Hart's chargers are really, really slow. So when it comes to that, it's it's gonna take a little bit. So this says it uh, inflates a truck tire from flat to full in under seven minutes, which that's actually a lot. Seven minutes is actually a lot. Digital display, uh, Nozzle accessories for onboard storage, including a variety of inflation needs. Uh, a variety of inflation needs. Uh, attached a 20-inch hose, which actually that's that's pretty good if you have a 20-inch hose. Uh, and then inflates tires, sports equipment, and other small inflatables, like uh, I guess you know, like uh, an inner tube or something. And then the light it has a rotating head, uh, hands-free over 200 lumens and mounts easily on a uh, two by uh, two by material so like a two by four you could slide it in there just like the Ryobi's uh, just like the Ryobi's uh, flashlight can and so yeah so let's open this up and see see how this is so the first thing you get is you get the battery which we're gonna have to put this on charge immediately. 1.5 hour battery, the model number for the battery is... Uh, B, uh, BPH001, uh, 20 volt battery, 1.5 amp hours, and 27 watt hours. So that's that. Then you get the flashlight. It's very good. Tech Life's grip is it ex is exceptionally well when it comes to the actual grip. Uh, but remember, on grips, do not get solvents on it because this will turn to mush. There's got to be some sort of charge. Yes, there is rotating head and there you go it, it, it amounts to a two by four just slide that on and it'll stick then you have the rotating head to adjust so there you go that's the that is the flashlight that is the flashlight then Of course, instructions and warranty. Then you get the charger. Now this is, uh, and so yes, it's a very, very slow charger, but we're gonna put this on charge right now because we are gonna need this charger. Then last but not least, you get the tire inflator. And there's the tire inflator. Now, this is extremely fat. When it comes to the, the handle, that's extremely fat. There is the digital display. The attachments are on the top of it. And 20 inch hose. And that's, that pops in just like that. All right, so the model number for this is HP1F01. 20 volt uh, system, 
Max PSI is 150. And yes, so that's that's the actually the exact same specs as the Ryobi. And the Ryobi is uh, PSI up to 150. So it's the same thing as the Ryobi. Now, if you do the size comparison, let's actually zoom out. That is zoomed out to the handle. And then compare it to the, the pistol grip. So yes, uh, the, on the Ryobi, there are attachments around the bottom. But yeah, so we are gonna let that battery charge and we're, we are gonna test this out on how fast it could actually uh, fill up my tire from a certain PSI. I'm not gonna completely deflate it. I don't wanna ruin the tire by having it flat on the rim. So we're gonna deflate the tire probably down to like 15 PSI and see what this can do. So we are gonna release some air from this tire and we are gonna see if one battery charge could take care of it. Okay, we're at, we are at 20 PSI. I'm not sure if you can see that. 20 PSI. Sorry if I can't zoom in on that, but we are gonna see how long this takes. So we're gonna time this, and we're gonna see how long it takes to make this into 36 PSI, which that's where it was. All right, so we are at 21, 21, PSI. All right, so ready? battery died all right we're at 34 psi the battery's dead the battery's dead Thirty-four point five. The uh, the battery's dead. That's a that's you're gonna need more than one battery to fill up your to fill up all four of your tires. Let's say you have two tires that are seven psi less than what they should be. You're gonna need two batteries for that. Yeah, the battery's warm. Tool does not smell like it's uh, smoking. It's smell. We're gonna do a temperature reading really quick. All right, and the last. Thing. That said, it was at 34.5. Let's see what this reads it at. Yep, 34.5. So this did fill most of the tire up for what I uh, took out. Now, the box says that this takes seven minutes to inflate a tire. I let this battery charge for about two hours. And uh, if that's, uh, according to the indicator, it was fully charged, that, this 1.5 amp hour battery didn't even fill up 14 PSI. It filled up 13.5. So, you are going to need more batteries than uh, what you get with this when it comes to just filling up uh, one tire from empty, uh, from 0 to 36 or whatever PSI you put your, your tire at. Now I'm just not sure if the motor is taking up more uh, power than it needs to do the to do the task, but 
that's not good. That that uh, I, I'm not gonna lie. That is not good. That you can't even fill up two tires up with one charge. Do a quick temperature reading. 56 degrees. It's not hot at all. It's not overworked. 58 degrees is the, is the highest uh, temperature on there. And it's, it's the motor's not overworked. It's just lacking power when it comes to duration of the battery. Now, we're, we are going to do a versus video uh, between the Ryobi and the Heart with a 1.5 amp hour battery and see which one actually lasts the longest and which one does more PSI and more. And so that's going to be a good video. Both have digital displays. Both have an LED flashlight. We are going to do a versus video between these and see which one prevails in doing the task. And so, yes. Yeah. So this is pretty much it. This was the uh, unboxing and demonstration of the heart flashlight and the uh, tire inflator. Now, there's not much demonstration of the flashlight right now just because it's a flashlight. You know, it shines light. But the tire inflator, the performance is speed and power. So with the 1.5 amp hour battery, it's not looking too good. They need to uh, offer better batteries right now to help uh, the tools out. And you know, the more amp hours you have, the better, especially during something like this. So, but we are gonna do it uh, versus video between that in the future. So that's pretty much it. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.